Hola mis amores, welcome back to another episode of Mornings with Fer, hosted by Fernanda Davila. I hope your day is going absolutely amazing and you've kicked off the right way, doing your affirmations, getting yourself going, motivated, inspired, and hopefully this podcast helps you keep it going that way. Today's topic of the day is uh, manifesting the life you want to live. How do you manifest? Why does it work for some people and not for others? What is the secret behind manifesting? Some people think it's something super magical. I feel like everybody talks about it, but not everybody does something about it. Today we're going to go a little bit into detail about why manifesting works for some people and it doesn't for others. I've been applying manifestation into many, many things that I am working super hard into getting in the last six months more than ever. And I can tell you if you really want it bad enough, you put it out to the universe and the laws of attraction can help you, but you have to focus on the yes, the good the things that you want, not the other way around. A lot of people waste their time, their energy, and they focus on the things that they don't want, the things that are holding them back, the things that are the big obstacle to get to where they want to be. So they're wasting so much time and energy on those things that they're not focused on the things that they do have control over and the things that they can change and work towards every single day to be a little bit closer. We're going to start off with when I was a child. I was not very confident and I was always told kind of you get what you get and you don't get upset. And I even use that nowadays. But I've realized that I've become a person that I try the hardest that I can to get what I want. It is my life, it is my happiness, and I really am a strong believer that if you want it bad enough, nothing should be able to get in your way until you get that. What can really help you with manifestation is giving yourself a mindset that whatever you don't want for yourself doesn't exist. What do I mean by that? Instead of thinking of everything that could go wrong in your delusional plan of making it, for instance, what if you filled your brain with thoughts like, when I make it, this will happen? What if instead you used your time, your energy, your focus for the good, the positive, the things that are coming your way, and you putting that out to the universe usually results in you getting that back, whether you want happy, positive, good vibes, and you get that back from the people that you encounter. When I tell you everything is an energy, this microphone, this chair, these flowers, everything is energy, especially you and me. Whatever energy you give off is usually what you get back. Like they say, when you see something bad in somebody, you're usually looking at the reflection of yourself, but you don't admit that about yourself. That is why you call it out on someone else. Is pretty much how manifesting works. If you want something so bad for yourself that you keep uh, seeing yourself doing it rather than wasting your time living someone else's life, maybe even through social media, because everybody's dealing with something crazy. But people post the things that they want you to see, which is a while. At some point, you'll realize that you have to align your conscience, your subconscious, and your body to all get their shit together at the same time. So if your conscience says, I want to be rich, but your subconscious says, oh my God, how am I going to pay my bills? And then your body says, let's take a nap, then it is going to be a hot mess, because no matter if you're thinking that you want to be rich what you're really putting out to the universe is uh, oh my god my bills instead of having the mindset of I'm a little bit closer than I was yesterday to becoming rich and then boom you get out of bed a rise and shine early in the morning and you work towards those goals even if you're a little bit better than you were yesterday you are still closer than you were ever gonna be if you didn't get out of bed today to pursue those goals and dreams be so confident every morning that you give it no space for things to not line with how you want them to be you shoot up here and there's a high chance that if you don't make it all the way there you will at least fall here or there but if you never shoot from the bottom you will never get out of that spot that's not gonna get you anywhere now that I get to do my morning show I realize that I'm gonna record my podcast after my morning show because I see things in such a different way after speaking with my friends my audience on TikTok. it's just so insane that today I came to realize that manifestation works in such mysterious ways sometimes. I shared something very personal with you guys that I wasn't intending to share it today, but it kind of just rolled out my tongue because it was such a good example of how things happen for us. When I shared this story, in a way, I felt a little bit vulnerable because I was letting you guys in on my personal life, but at the same time, it made me the person that I am today. So what kind of trust would I be building with you if I wasn't sharing things that have happened to me that have led me to where I am today? 
For example, when I was little, um, my dad got deported and I shared that with my morning show today and it wasn't ever for anybody to be like, oh my God, I feel so bad for you. No, it has made me the person I am today and my mom being the strong woman that she is, she stayed in the US and worked super hard for all four of us to have the future that we have. She could have definitely been like, oh my God, kids, we have to head back to Uruguay because, oh my God, what are we gonna do? You don't always choose the cards that you're dealt, but you do the best with what you have or reshuffle the deck or I don't know, do whatever it is that you have to do, but you keep pushing. You can't let a situation that got thrown your way decide the fate of you and your family. I am a strong believer that if you want something bad enough, you are gonna go for it and you are gonna make it possible. Possible. nothing should be able to stand in your way like I was telling you guys she stayed she made the decision with my sisters and my little brother and I to stay in the US and she did what she had to do we went through a lot of hard times but she always kept her head up and she was manifesting a bright future for her kids and I guess that has built me into the person that I am today because whether it was babysitting cleaning houses offices whatever it was we were all right by her side helping her with those things and she did to give us a hell of a bright future and that is me doing what I do now I would have never believed in myself if it wasn't for having such a strong figure of a mom that I have and that is where I see manifesting work in such a strong way and funny enough I haven't had this conversation with her yet but I don't think she really noticed how hard she was manifesting a bright future for all of us for instance, my mom could have said, oh my God, I'm manifesting a beautiful, bright life in the US, but the first thing she does is pack her shit and move back to Uruguay because things got tough. When times get tough, you get stronger. That is really the only option you have in the crazy world that we live in. So I highly recommend that you stop wasting your time on the things that are out of your control and you start working a little bit harder towards the things that you can do, the things that you can control. You cannot be upset because you showed up at work and your boss is a jerk. Maybe he's always been a jerk, what can you do? But you can stand up for yourself and say, hey, you can talk to everybody like that, but you're not gonna talk to me like that. I've done that before and I felt super proud of myself after that, of course, this whole big pile of craziness exploded. But you know what? I wouldn't change it for the world because I am finally standing up for myself. I am manifesting to be the best version of myself that I can, but that also includes waking up every single day, doing a lot of sacrifice. I'm doing really good on social media right now and I don't say it bragging or showing off or any of that. I'm just saying it because it has been the hardest working six months of my life. I've been waking up at four in the morning every single day. That is what goes hand in hand with manifesting, working really hard for those crazy goals and dreams. I got invited to headquarters of TikTok in New York. That is amazing. I manifested that when I had five people in my room. Now I have hundreds of people in my room and that is incredible for me. Now I got invited for uh, headquarters of TikTok in Chicago. Will I go? I don't know, but even getting the invitation meant the world to me because I am so proud of how hard I've been working. Now that I started doing my podcast, I woke up at 2.30 in the morning last week to finish editing my video to be able to post it for you guys and I'm not saying it for anybody to be like oh my god poor fed no guys I'm telling you this because if you want it bad enough you will sacrifice certain things like I've been sacrificing a bunch of cuddles in the morning that is what hurts me the most in my heart because my kids are my life and anytime I can cuddle I will do that but if I am manifesting a bright future for them but I keep sleeping in I don't work hard I don't create the content that I need to make those things are not gonna build a bright future for my kids the fact that I get to show up wake up every morning and tell myself Push the struggle bus a little bit more until you can afford having the rocket ship. Pack your shit, let's freaking go. That is the mentality, that is my goal, that is what I want. Again, it's not the same for everybody. A lot of people are comfortable with where they are and that is very good for you. All I'm saying is don't ever tell yourself that you're not worth it or that you can't do it because you're the only one standing in your way. You might as well wake up one day and start telling yourself you can do this, you will get that, you are worth it. All of the positive ways to talk to yourself instead of discouraging yourself. You're the person that gives yourself the most crap for everything, I guarantee it. You're insecure about your hair, your smile, your teeth, your hands, your nails. My point is, 
you can be your biggest hype person and you can be your worst nightmare standing in your way every single day. So you wake up and you decide, are you going to cheer yourself up and crush those goals and dreams and work really hard towards the manifesting that you're doing? Or are you going to wake up another day, not do anything about it, whine, bitch and complain and keep saying you are manifesting, but you're really not taking action. Manifesting is not going to get you anywhere, literally anywhere. You can be the best person to talk about manifesting, but if you don't get up and do it, it's like if I showed up and I'm like, guys, manifesting is so great, but I sleep in every day. You guys see that I'm not getting anywhere with what I'm doing. Obviously, the manifesting is not working because I am not investing in myself. The time, the money, the effort. Everything that I've been investing in myself is coming back to me because I did it with a positive mindset. Affirmations are such a powerful tool. For example, if you wake up today and you have finally decided to chase that new career, but the way that you present it to yourself is, I feel confident in stepping into my new career. Everything is gonna go great. I am super happy and positive. I am not giving space for anything negative, for nothing to go wrong because you're so focused on the good regardless if it doesn't go as great as you hope that it did it'll definitely go better than if you're like oh my god this is so scary i'm not gonna do this i can't i can't oh my god those things will drown you slowly because you have to believe in yourself if you do not do that it is going to be so hard for you to put action into your manifestation also you can try something like i am surrounded by loving and supportive relationships you surround yourself with uh, the kind of energy that you want to give off so i don't have a very big circle and i've told you guys this before i prefer quality over quantity in everything and anything in my life i have a very small circle but it is the best people we don't hang out all the time but when we do it is the best time ever and I will always prefer that over having a big crowd of people that really don't care about me at the end of the day if they are loving they check on me they want to be a part of my life I think that is such a big win rather than people that just stick around waiting to see when you're gonna fail so that they can look like they're doing a little bit better than you and I've said this before I'll repeat it again people want you to do good they never want you to do better than them those are the people that you should be careful with those are the people that I have very recently been cutting off slowly because I noticed that they don't want the best for me they always wanted me around because I would provide them with something as soon as I started taking care of myself and my self-care and I started saying no to those people their true colors showed up and obviously I don't need them in my life because they did not want me around either so don't feel bad about cutting people off because they are not working along the plan of your manifestation for a brighter life for a better career for what's better for you and your kids and your husband your wife your family always prioritize that and whatever you are manifesting if it's something that is a good in the long run for you that will keep you so motivated to keep going when i tell you guys find your passion and that will keep you motivated if it wasn't for me starting to do my morning show and now my podcast and i know that i'm helping people one day at a time and i love that i get to do this whether i'm helping one person or a couple hundred daily i am changing the world and i could not manifest something brighter for me and i believe right now i am working on leaving behind a legacy rather than just existing and then and the people that I'm trying to please right now won't even remember or talk about me anyways. But what I'm doing, I am making a difference in the world. I think that's super badass. I wouldn't change it for the world. And I have been learning to be a lot more grateful for everything that I have. I have been celebrating all of my little wins. And I really think that you should celebrate your wins because... You don't know how much of a difference you are making in somebody's life. And I think that doesn't have a price when you know that, I don't know, smiling to somebody on the street is making them maybe have a better day. Always remember that regardless of what you are manifesting, make yourself a game plan and don't stick to it so hard. Make sure you reflect and adjust depending on how things are going. Don't rush yourself. Give yourself the time to enjoy the journey of what it is that you are doing. Reflect on what's working and what may need some change 
change. Manifestation is a, a dynamic process and being flexible helps you stay aligned with your goal. I want to use this podcast to channel all the good vibes, positive energy, encouragement, motivation, and manifesting tips that I can to help you change your life today. It is really as easy as you wanting the best for you and start telling yourself that, that you want the best for yourself and that you deserve the best and that nobody should have enough power over your happiness to tell you otherwise. By setting clear intentions, visualizing success, practicing affirmations, taking inspired actions, and embracing gratitude, you are setting yourself up for incredible achievements. So it is only up to you. You. No matter how hard you manifest, get up and start moving. Remember, the journey of manifestation is uh, uniquely yours. Stay committed, stay positive, and most importantly, stay true to yourself. And I'm going to wrap up today's episode with one of my uh, favorite quotes. What you think, you create. What you feel, you attract. What you imagine, you become. Let that sink in and make sure you start taking actions to become the person that you want to be because only you have the power to create the life that you desire. I hope this day is filled with positivity, energy, motivation, good vibes, and all the best for you. Thank you for joining me on another episode of Mornings with Fed. If you did like this episode, please don't forget to subscribe, share to somebody that may need a little bit of a motivation or energy boost in the mornings. I hope you have a wonderful day and keep manifesting. Manifesting your dream life. Let's freaking go!